Well, speaking of relieving stress, we're going to do that through prenatal fitness. Get in shape with yoga exercises to help you prepare for your little one. And joining us with some tips is the CEO of Dolphin Yoga and Doula Center, which is in San Mateo. She also has a new DVD out called Prenatal Vinyasa Yoga. Short forms. Please welcome Jennifer Wolf. And joining us is Alicia Bright, who is 38 weeks Pregnant, you're due true. in less than two weeks. Yes. Congratulations, you <laughs> may you. have a baby on the show today. <laughs> now, this is your second one. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? No, we're waiting to find out. Oh my goodness, big surprise. Congratulations, and you've Thank been doing you. prenatal yoga through this whole pregnancy. Throughout the entire pregnancy. And so, she was actually one of the first people I told. Yeah, and how's that helping you? Um, immensely. I mean, you have to have the energy with a three-year-old running around. So I've been doing it like twice a day and doing her video. So it's giving me a lot of energy. That's great. So show us some moves, Jennifer. Let's get okay. right to it. Okay. We each have start. our own yoga mat. Let's go ahead and start sitting down. Okay. And um, we'll start in Baddha Konasana or bound angle. Bring the feet together, knees out. Roll the feet open like you're opening up a book. So one of the things before we begin that you want to make sure you do before beginning any prenatal exercise, you want to consult your physician or of midwife. Course. Okay. Um, and then once you get the okay, which usually you will, um, it's fine to do to practice yoga. Okay. So for the Baddha Konasana, this pose is really good for opening up the pelvis. It's really good for people like Alicia who are just about to have their babies because at this place it helps to engage the baby's head. Uh -huh. The only time you don't want to do it is if, if your baby's breached. So if the, if the bottom is down and the head is up, then you don't want to engage the baby's bottom instead. So okay. that would be the only time you don't want to do this pose. Otherwise, it feels really good. You want to lift the spine. You want to keep the sternum area open and you want to come forward with a flat back and just breathe, breathing in and out through your nose. Okay, moms at home, get on the ground and do this with me. <laughs> Let's just decompress for five minutes. Okay. Oh, that's a good stretch, too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Show us the next one. The next one is called the cat pose. And the cat pose, you're going to come onto your hands and knees. Bring mm -hmm. your hands directly under the shoulders. Spread the fingers out wide. You want the hands, knees, and feet equal distance apart. And then you're going to inhale and bring your head up, gazing up between the eyebrows. And you're going to exhale, release the head down, round the back, and tuck the pelvis under. Now, and then, how is this good for um, non-pregnant people? Well, for non-pregnant people, the cat pose is, is, is actually really good because it helps to loosen up the back. Mm. Um, you can actually sway your back when you're not pregnant. When you're pregnant, you don't want to sway the back too much. It puts okay. too much weight on the spine. But for pregnant women, this is one of the best poses that you can do. Because you can see as she's, as she's rounding her back and coming back up, she's actually tucking the pelvis under and yeah. back. And um, it helps to move the baby into a position that feels better. If sometimes um, women have the babies kind of in an uncomfortable position, they can yeah. come down to their hands and knees and, um, and go into this pose, and it helps turn the baby, the baby around. Oh, it that's does. neat. And in labor, this one's really good, too, especially if you're having back pain in labor. Um, you can do this pose and actually turn the baby around and help to leave the back pain. You mean when you're in the hospital getting ready? When and you're just in the there? hospital. Wow. Some people deliver in this pose. Oh, my goodness. I know. Wow. Okay, what's the next pose? <laughs> okay, the next pose we're going to do is called Downward Dog. Okay. And I've it's heard a pretty popular pose right. for yoga. You're going to curl your toes under, lift the hips up, and bring the chest toward the thighs. And you can bend one knee at a time and now, stretch out the calves. If you're pregnant, how long can you do this for? I mean, obviously, Alicia's doing this. She's 38 weeks. You can do it, you know, the whole time. You don't want to stay in it too long. And if you get fatigued, you can always go into child's pose, bring your knees apart, toes together, sitting down on your heels and stretching forward. But as with any yoga pose, if it doesn't feel good, you shouldn't do it. So there are going to be days when downward dog feels fantastic, uh -huh. and other days it's going to not feel good. So make sure that when you're doing yoga poses that you only do poses that feel good. Alicia's the most uh, flexible pregnant woman I have ever met. <laughs> <laughs> and now, is this comfortable for you? How does it feel being, you know, 38 weeks pregnant and doing these poses? It feels really good because it yeah. really opens you up and gives you the energy that you need and really gets you through the day. So, and you just Great. stay with it and you become more and more flexible, which seems odd during pregnancy, but it works. Yeah, you're out maneuvering me. Okay, what's okay. next, Jennifer? The next pose we're going to do is a flow. So, we're going to bring your, your thumbs together. A flow? Yeah. Okay. It's, well, it's a, well, vinyasa actually means flow, and mm -hmm. that's the style that I do. Um, and so usually when you go into a lunge, when you're not pregnant, you can bring your foot forward right. this way. But when you're pregnant, you have to bring the thumbs together and bring the foot to the outside of the hands. I see. And okay. then we're going to inhale, reach the arms up, taking a deep breath, and exhale, we're going to lunge forward. Mm. Good. Now from here, you can stay here, or if you want to move further, bring the hands down onto the knee, curl the back toes under, and take the back knee up off the ground. So prenatal yoga is also great for building strength. 
This is good. And then you can reach the arms up if you want to go further. I don't know why I don't do yoga <laughs> more often. I'm so relaxed. This is actually really good for heartburn, too. A lot of pregnant women suffer for heart, from heartburn. Uh -huh. And then to come down, you want to bring the hands down and release the back knee. Okay, well these, I mean, it helps pregnant re women relieve heartburn, also non-pregnant people too? Yeah, because anytime you lift the arms above your head, you're creating more space. Ah, oh, I see, okay. Yep. What's the next move do we have? The next one we are going to do is um, the tree pose. Okay, wait, we might have time for one more. Let's do the pigeon one quickly. Okay, let's do the pigeon. Because this one's for the sciatica, right? Yes. Okay. So you're let's gonna bring one knee one. forward. Okay. And turn the foot out. Okay. <laughs> bring your heel a little bit closer in. Okay. There you go. And then you want to have the top of the back foot on the ground. You want to square the hips. Uh -huh. And then if you're comfortable here, you can come forward. So this pose is really an excellent pose if you have, <laughs> okay. if you have um, any problems with sciatica, which is sci the sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the body. It goes from the hip all the way down to the heel. And um, sometimes, especially when you're pregnant, it can, you can have sciatic pain. And so this pose is really good for that. Okay, let's do the tree pose. Okay. The final, the one you were mentioning. Ooh. Now, so you have an eight-year-old daughter. I do. Do you do yoga with her? I do. I do yoga at her school. And does that help her? Does she enjoy it? She loves it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the tree pose. The tree pose is a balancing pose. And for pregnant women, Balance is, is always a problem because as the baby grows, your center of gravity gets, gets thrown off. So when you do something like a balancing pose, you can regain your center of gravity. Okay. Um, a lot of pregnant women find that they're bumping into things and that they're clumsy, and this pose will really help with that. So first thing you do, stand on two feet and you find your center. So kind of bring, shift your weight forward and back a little bit until you find your center. And then once you do, you bring all your weight onto one leg and you bring the other leg up. So you can just bring it up a little bit if you want. Or if you feel comfortable, bring it all the way up to the thigh. Okay. Engage the, the muscle above the knee on the standing leg. And then if you are comfortable there, bring the hands into prayer position. Hmm. And then take a couple of breaths, breathing in and out through the nose. And if you're really comfortable there, reach the arms up over the head. Okay, now this one's a little tricky. If you're really comfortable, bring the gaze up. Wow, you guys are really comfortable. <laughs> Release the hands down. That is amazing. Thank you. What five minutes can do for you. Alicia, congratulations. Thank you. Can't wait to hear if it's a boy or a girl. And Jennifer, wonderful. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in again. It's called the Dolphin Yoga and Doula Center in San Mateo. And congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank, Thank you. you. Now that we're done working out, we should go holiday shopping. So yeah. we hooked up with professional shopper Susie Gershman. She shows us some great deals in Chinatown.